Illustrator. We're actually going to be doing sugar skulls for um, the art club, actually, because they go uh, sell keychains and earrings for Day of the Dead downtown. So whoever has the best one in each class will get a keychain made of their design. So the first thing you have to find is actually a design that you want to trace. So I'm going to go into Chrome. I came up here and searched. I did Sugar Skull Outline. Sometimes you can just do Sugar Skull, Sugar Skull Coloring Page. There's a bunch of different things that you can search for this. But the key thing is clicking on Tools and then say large or even larger than that so you have a very clear image because if it's a fuzzy image, it's not going to um, live trace very well. Then you can scroll through looking for maybe images that you would want. Like, so if I clicked on this one, see how this is very fuzzy? That's not going to be a design that's going to be very clear. All right, so I'm going to keep on going. I'm trying to see if they're. See, it's still a little fuzzy. Let's see if I can get this one to work. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm going to hold down control click or right click, save image as. I'm going to save it to my desktop as Sugar Skull Design. Okay, I'm going to just double click to make sure it looks okay. All right, I'm going to close that out. Now that I have that out, I can go into Illustrator. I'm going to say File New, go to Print choose letter size and say create. Now that I have this set up, I'm going to bring in the image that I'm going to do. I have several saved here on the desktop, so I'm going to bring in one file place. I'm going to show you the difference. So this one is a very clear one. This one I want to show you from earlier, so I clicked and drag. Now up here with this, yeah, make sure it's selected. I'm going to go to image trace. But I'm going to hit the drop down and I want to go to black and white logo. And now when I click that, it's going to progress. And so mine, I did not see very much change in it. So I don't have to worry about it. Um, but if I did want to adjust some of it, it's good, called the image trace panel. And there is a bunch of things that you can test. And the best thing I can tell you is play with it and see what happens. So if I move up the thresh threshold, does it make it better? If I go all the way to the very end, it's going to be black. So obviously, I want to bump that down and I'm just kind of looking at the designs to see what looks good. I'm also going to come in here and maybe check on strokes. Okay. Alright, and then so on and so forth. I don't like what that did, so I'm going to uncheck that. And then I'm going to say that I think this is best. I'm going to come up here and hit expand. Now this is broken up into parts. So I'm going to come in here with that selection tool, the white arrow, and I'm going to come in here and hit delete. I'm going to come in here and hit delete because I know these are things I don't want. But this is all separate parts. So if I didn't want this single part, I can come in here and hit delete, okay, depending on your design. Now that I have this set up, okay, I'm going to come in here, select it with my black arrow, come in here with my fill bucket, and I'm going to go to window and swatches. So I'm going to pull up these colors that I want. So the first one that you use, you have to have it selected, all right, to be able to fill it. Now that I've filled in one, I can come here with my black arrow and select off of it. Now I can come in here with my fill bucket and fill in whatever I would like to fill in. Changing the colors, okay, remember usually they're very bright colors for sugar skulls, okay. See how it only filled in part of that? I have to come in here and kind of go in here and kind of grab it because sometimes it's not perfect when it comes to um, the live trace but I can still go in and select part of that I just had to do it in sections same thing down here I think it's kind of broken up into sections so when it turns red that means that's what it's gonna fill so if that would fill I would click on it that's what it would turn the color to alright so this one is one design I'm gonna go ahead and move this over I'm going to show you more complex design and show you what Live Trace does. So if I come in here and say File Place, I'm going to grab that one that we just used. I'm going to click and drag and create that one that we downloaded. All right. So now that we're going to do that, we're going to 
go to live trace and I'm going to see what happens when I go to black and white and see what it picks up. Now it actually did a pretty good job probably because this one's a larger file, a larger file. Um, I can go in here and adjust this if I wanted to. If I see any parts that I thought maybe could use a little bit better, but I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit expand. Now that I have it expanded, I can go in and adjust things. So the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and actually get rid of this background. I'm going to get rid of the text over here. Again, I'm using that white arrow to come in here and kind of select it. Okay. Now that I have it done, I'm going to select it again with my black selection tool. So I can come in here with my fill bucket and at least fill one thing. Now that I've filled in one thing, I can select off of it. I'm going to go to my swatches and then choose different colors to fill it in with. It got to be on my fill. Okay. Now with that being said, these are your basic swatches. If you come down here to the library, there's a bunch of different swatches. So maybe you want to go to celebrations because those have bright colors in them. All right. So maybe I want to come in here and do hot pink and green and some yellows. Okay. Also in here, there are, I mean, there's a gazillion different palettes, but if you want to come in here, there's gradients. So there's bright gradients. So maybe you want to have like a slight gradient over here. Or maybe you want to do maybe some beach colors. All right. So again, play with your swatches palettes. There's much of, there's a whole bunch of different palettes out there. Make sure you're using that live trace. You're trying to find a clear image because if you don't find a clear image, it's going to be really hard to live trace. Let me see if I can find one that's a little bit more difficult. Let's see about this one. I can't remember. Okay, so this one has a little bit more thin lines. I'm going to come up here to image trace. Um, go to black and white. I'm going to say okay. This is a larger image, but uh, it did pretty good some there. But as you can see, it didn't connect all the way. So I might have to come in here and play around with it. Um, let me actually find a bad picture. Where is a fuzzy picture? Let me go back to Illustrator. Let me file place. Okay, so see how the quality of this image is completely different? Now, if I come in here to live trace this, see how much is left? Even if I come in here with my threshold and change it, it's still not grabbing all the, what I want. So, again, that's the importance of having a larger image, a very clear image. Otherwise, it's very difficult to live trace um, or image trace your objects. So again, we're doing sugar skulls, and the, the winner of the design um, will get a free keychain. Yay! If you want to design your own and not do image trace, at least do image trace once so you understand the concept behind it. But then if you want to go in and design your own, like draw in your own, that's another option for you. All right? Have a good day.